Ever wondered if your dreams hold secrets that can transform your life? Discover the hidden door to your soul with Carl Jung's profound insight into the mysterious world of dreams. What secrets lie hidden in the shadows of our dreams? Every night as we drift into sleep, a world of images, emotions and stories unfolds within our minds. Could these nocturnal journeys hold the key to unlocking our deepest selves? Carl Jung, the renowned Swiss psychiatrist, believed they do. He saw dreams not as mere fleeting fantasies, but as profound messages from our unconscious, guiding us towards wholeness and self-discovery. Jung's groundbreaking work on dream analysis continues to inspire and intrigue. He recognized the transformative power of dreams, their ability to illuminate our hidden strengths, confront our deepest fears, and ultimately lead us to a more authentic and fulfilling life. In a world yearning for meaning and connection, Jung's insights offer a beacon of hope. By learning to listen to the whispers of the night, we can embark on a journey of self-exploration and unlock the extraordinary potential that lies within each of us. Let us delve into the world of dreams through the lens of Jungian psychology and discover how these nightly voyages can illuminate the path to our truest selves. Anne, a successful marketing executive, found herself trapped in a cycle of relentless pressure. Her days were filled with back-to-back -back meetings, urgent deadlines and the constant demands of the corporate world. The weight of her responsibilities seemed to grow heavier with each passing day. Her days were a blur of meetings, deadlines and the constant demands of the corporate world. The hustle and bustle of the office never seemed to stop and Sarah felt like she was always running to catch up. The calendar pages flipped by quickly each day blending into the next without a moment to breathe. Despite her outward success, Sarah felt an emptiness gnawing at her soul. She would often find herself staring out of her office window, lost in thought, wondering if this was all there was to life. The city lights at night seemed to mock her, shining brightly while she felt so dim inside. Anne recounted to me, I was plagued by insomnia and when sleep did come, it was often disturbed by vivid, unsettling dreams. I would lie awake for hours, my mind racing with thoughts of work and the never-ending to-do list. Even when I did manage to fall asleep, my dreams were filled with anxiety and fear. One recurring dream in particular left me feeling deeply unsettled. In it, I was endlessly climbing a mountain the summit always just out of reach. No matter how hard I tried, I could never reach the top. It was as if the mountain was mocking me, reminding me of my failures and shortcomings. In it I was endlessly climbing a mountain, the summit always just out of reach. The path was steep and treacherous, and I could feel the weight of my exhaustion with every step. The summit seemed to taunt me, always just beyond my grasp. Exhausted and yearning for answers, Anne stumbled upon a book on Jungian dream analysis. She was intrigued by the idea that her dreams could hold deeper meanings and insights into her subconscious mind. The book promised to help her understand the symbols and archetypes that appeared in her dreams. Intrigued, she began to keep a dream journal, meticulously recording her nocturnal experiences. Each morning she would write down every detail she could remember, hoping to uncover the hidden messages within her dreams. The act of journaling became a therapeutic ritual, a way for her to process her thoughts and emotions. As she delved deeper into the world of symbols and archetypes, she began to recognize patterns and recurring themes in her dreams. She noticed that certain symbols appeared over and over again, each one carrying a unique significance. The process of analysing her dreams became a journey of self-discovery. 
Anne recounted again to me, my journey into dream work led me to a Jungian therapist. I needed someone who could guide me through the complex world of my subconscious mind. The therapist helped me to see the connections between my dreams and my waking life, revealing insights that I had never considered before. With gentle guidance, I started to unravel the hidden messages within my dreams. Each session brought new revelations and I began to understand the deeper meanings behind my recurring dream of the mountain. It was a symbol of my relentless pursuit of success and the pressure I placed on myself to always achieve more. The mountain, I discovered, represented my relentless pursuit of external validation. I had been climbing it for years, always striving to reach the top, but never feeling satisfied. The summit, always just out of reach, symbolised my unconscious belief that I was never enough. The elusive summit symbolised my unconscious belief that I was never enough. But through my journey of self-discovery, I began to realise that true fulfilment could not be found in external achievements. It was about embracing my own worth and finding peace within myself. This realisation marked the beginning of my transformation from stress to serenity. The dream is a little hidden door in the innermost and most secret recesses of the soul, wrote Carl Jung. These words encapsulate the profound mystery and depth that dreams hold within our psyche. With these words, he captured the essence of his revolutionary approach to dream interpretation. Jung's theories opened up new pathways for understanding the human mind. Jung believed that dreams are not random firings of the sleeping brain, but rather a direct line to the unconscious mind. This perspective was a significant departure from the prevailing scientific views of his time. A dream symbolism expert explained, this unconscious, according to Jung, is a vast reservoir of wisdom, creativity and instinctual energy. It is a part of us that holds the key to understanding our true selves. It is the source of our deepest fears and desires, our forgotten memories and our unrealized potential. By delving into our dreams, we can uncover aspects of ourselves that we may not be aware of in our waking lives. Dreams, he argued, are the language of the unconscious, a symbolic language that speaks to us in images, metaphors and emotions. This symbolic language can be complex and multi-layered, often requiring careful analysis to decode. Jung's approach to dream analysis differed significantly from the popular Freudian interpretation of dreams as repressed desires. While Freud's theories focused on the hidden sexual and aggressive drives within dreams, Jung's perspective was more holistic. While Freud focused on uncovering the hidden sexual and aggressive drives within dreams, Jung saw them as a pathway to wholeness and individuation. He believed that dreams could guide us towards becoming our true selves. He believed that dreams serve a compensatory function, balancing out our conscious attitudes and behaviours. This means that dreams can provide insights into the parts of ourselves that we may be neglecting or overemphasizing. The dream symbolism expert continued, If we are too rational and controlled in our waking lives, our dreams may present us with images of chaos and instinctual urges. These images can serve as a reminder to embrace our more spontaneous and creative sides. Conversely, if we are overly emotional and impulsive, our dreams may offer symbols of order and reason. This balance is crucial for maintaining psychological health and well-being. Jung developed various techniques for analysing dreams, including active imagination and amplification. These methods help individuals engage with their dreams more deeply and uncover the hidden messages within them. By understanding and integrating the messages from our dreams, we can achieve personal growth and transformation. Dreams can act as a guide, leading us towards a more balanced and fulfilled life. 
Jung also introduced the concept of the collective unconscious, a shared reservoir of experiences and archetypes common to all humanity. These archetypal symbols often appear in dreams, providing universal themes and insights. The interplay between the personal and the universal in dreams can offer profound insights into our place in the world and our connection to others. By exploring these connections, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our relationships. To engage with our dreams, Jung recommended keeping a dream journal, reflecting on dream symbols, and discussing dreams with others. These practices can help us integrate the wisdom of our dreams into our daily lives. Dream analysis is not a one-time event, but a lifelong journey. As we continue to explore our dreams, we can uncover new layers of meaning and continue to grow and evolve. Embracing the mystery of our dreams can lead to a richer, more meaningful life. It is an ongoing quest for self-discovery, guided by the hidden door to the soul that Carl Jung so eloquently described. Through her work with her therapist, Anne began to understand the symbolic language of her dreams. Each session peeled back layers of her subconscious, revealing hidden meanings and insights that had long been buried. The process was both enlightening and challenging as Anne confronted aspects of herself she had never fully acknowledged. The recurring image of the mountain, once a source of anxiety, became a powerful symbol of my own ambition and drive. Initially, the mountain seemed insurmountable, a representation of the obstacles and pressures I face daily. But as I delved deeper, I began to see it as a testament to my resilience and determination. Each climb, each struggle was a step towards my goals, a reflection of my inner strength. I realized that my relentless pursuit of success stemmed from a deep-seated fear of failure, a fear rooted in my childhood experiences. Memories of my parents' high expectations and the pressure to excel in school came flooding back. These early experiences had planted the seeds of my anxiety, driving me to constantly prove my worth. Understanding this connection was a pivotal moment in my journey. As Anne explored her dreams, she began to recognize other recurring symbols. Each symbol held a piece of the puzzle, offering clues to her inner world. The process was like decoding a personal language, one that spoke directly to her soul. With each revelation, Anne felt a growing sense of clarity and empowerment. The color red, often associated with passion and anger, appeared frequently in my dreams. It was a vibrant, almost overwhelming presence, demanding my attention. I began to see it as a manifestation of my suppressed emotions, particularly my anger. This realization was both liberating and daunting, as it forced me to confront feelings I had long ignored. This led me to confront my own suppressed anger towards my demanding boss and the unrealistic expectations placed upon me. I had always prided myself on being composed and professional, but beneath the surface, resentment was brewing. Acknowledging this anger was the first step towards addressing it, both in my dreams and in my waking life. Through dream work, Anne embarked on a profound journey of self-discovery. Each dream was a window into her psyche, revealing hidden fears, desires and strengths. The process was transformative, reshaping her understanding of herself and her place in the world. I began to understand the root causes of my anxiety and stress, it wasn't just about the pressures of my job or the demands of daily life. It was about deeper, more ingrained patterns of thought and behavior. Recognizing these patterns allowed me to start breaking them, to find healthier ways of coping. I learned to set healthy boundaries, both in my professional and personal life. This was a crucial step in reclaiming my sense of self. I started saying no to unreasonable demands, prioritizing my well-being over others' expectations. It was a challenging shift, but an essential one for my mental health. Most importantly, I reconnected with my own creativity, a part of myself that I had long suppressed. Creativity had always been a source of joy and expression for me, but in the hustle and bustle of life, it had taken a back seat. Rediscovering this aspect of myself was like finding a long-lost friend. Anne's dreams became a source of guidance and inspiration. They were no longer just random images and scenarios, but meaningful messages from her subconscious. 
Each dream offered insights and lessons, helping her navigate her waking life with greater awareness and purpose. I started painting again, a passion I had abandoned since childhood. The act of creating was therapeutic, allowing me to express emotions and thoughts that words couldn't capture. Each brushstroke was a release, a way to channel my inner world onto the canvas. My art became an outlet for my emotions, a way to express the unconscious wisdom that was bubbling to the surface. It was a form of self-expression that felt both ancient and new, a connection to a deeper part of myself. Through painting, I found a sense of peace and fulfillment that had long eluded me. Mark, a decorated war veteran, returned home from combat, haunted by the horrors he had witnessed. Diagnosed with PTSD, I was plagued by nightmares, flashbacks, and crippling anxiety. Traditional therapy offered little solace, and I felt increasingly isolated and hopeless. Desperate for relief, Mark's therapist suggested dream work. Initially skeptical, I agreed to give it a try. I began keeping a dream journal, recording the terrifying images that invaded my sleep. My dreams were filled with violence, chaos, and the ever-present threat of danger. As Mark delved deeper into his dreams, he began to notice recurring symbols. One recurring image was that of a lone wolf separated from its pack. This resonated deeply with me, as I felt profoundly alone in my struggle with PTSD. With the help of his therapist, Mark began to understand the symbolic language of his dreams. The wolf, he realised, represented his own sense of isolation and the loss of camaraderie he felt after returning from combat. The battlefield, a constant backdrop in his nightmares, symbolised the inner turmoil he was facing. I hope these two studies provide an insight for you into Carl Jung's remarkable studies. Your dreams are a hidden door to the depths of your soul. Embrace them, learn from them, and let them guide you to a richer, more meaningful life. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more insights into the mysterious world of dreams. Leave a comment below about your dream experiences and how they've impacted your life. Open the door to your soul today and let the journey begin.